thoughts on uh, game day here in Kentucky? What are you expecting? A big crowd. <laughs> <laughs> big Blue Nation always uh, always shows. And last time we were here, I think it was 22,000. And the thing that freaked me out, other than the place was full for a 10 o'clock in the morning show, was when Cal uh, kind of stopped uh, an interview and said, "Let me." He said, "Let me ask, how many of you don't have tickets for the game tonight?" And it seemed like 15,000 didn't have tickets. <laughs> are you kidding me? Like 37,000 people are going to run through this building today? That's, that's pretty strong. When it, you have a team like this this my year. my math right there? Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Right, good. Uh, yeah. A team like this this year that's down and, and there's not as much excitement around the team, but they're still putting fifteen to 20,000 in, at least at this point, for tomorrow. What does that say about the, the fan base of Kentucky from what you've seen? Well, I mean, this, is, this doesn't, you know, Kentucky doesn't have a team. They have a program. So it's supported no matter what, and that speaks really well of, of what they've accomplished here. And, you know, I don't. I may may look at it a little differently. I, I don't look at you know this year so much being down as I do. It, it just underscores how great of a job John's done the last few years to take teams that young and uh, inexperienced and go to lead eights, final fours, you know, win the win the championship. That. Uh, th- this is not the the unusual thing. That was the unusual thing. You know, teams this age mm-hmm. struggle, and the fact that the teams he's had here before this have not uh, speaks well, incredibly well of them. I, I don't think that's ever happened in the history of this game. Sure. I, 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 what we've seen the last three years out of this place, uh, we've seen what's ha- what's happening this year before, uh, and that that's that's not unusual. Uh, but boy, the last three years were unusual. You know more basketball than most people. Just your take on this team right now looks to be a team out of the tournament. What are their chances, and, and do you think that they make it? I think they've got a good chance to make it. You know, this year is not the same as last year. So the, the, the NCAA tournament is, uh, as John Calipari was just saying, kind of grades on a curve. So it's just this year. So you don't have to get in last year or the year before. you got to get in this year. And, uh, and they got a bad break with Nerlens Noel going down. But it's also an opportunity for some other players. And it means that they're going to have to adapt to playing a different way. And guys are going to have to do more. And they're going to have to get tougher. And, you know, diving on the floor, taking charges. Uh, you can't rely on somebody to erase a mistake. You have to eliminate the mistake before it gets to that point. And that's not always easy for a young team to do. It's not easy for any team to do. But whether Noel got hurt or not, the game starts at 9 o'clock tomorrow. And you got to play. With the atmosphere of Rupp Arena, I know it's not the craziest, the loudest arena in the country, and it's, you know, Duke and Kansas and some of those places have that beat, but just kind of the aurora, or, you know, just Rupp Arena and what it means to college basketball. I that. think Rupp is one of the great arenas in the country, and, you know, I may look at this a little bit differently. I kind of differ with some of my colleagues that, that talk about, well, you know, this crowd is worth X amount of points. And, I tend to think that, that the crowds are part of the atmosphere, that I've never heard a coach come into a press conference say, you know, we lost today because our crowd wasn't very good. Uh, it's the team. And, and the teams that have come in here and been intimidated uh, have been intimidated by the team, and then the crowd adds to it. Um, but it, but it, it's, it's part of the atmosphere. It's not part of the game. The game's played out here, and, uh, and the players have to do it. And, uh, and that's, what, that's what makes a building is the players, and, and the crowd usually follows that. And, uh, and, you know, they're always louder when the team's good. Uh, that, that's, a, that's a big part of it to me. And I've noticed that, though, when teams are home as opposed to away, it's drastically affected some of these teams. I mean, some of the road games compared to their home games, I mean, they lose. I mean, good teams are losing road games. Does the crowd play a factor at all in well, your Yeah, opinion? it's part of the atmosphere. But, but you know, when people, when people say, well, hey, you know, you go on the road and the, the road team not, doesn't play as well, mm-hmm. well, you also have to factor in that the road team plays better. You know, people say, well, uh, the officials favor the home team. Well, they, they don't factor in that the home team's more aggressive when they're at home. And so they're forcing the officials to make these calls. Uh, and I don't, I don't know, I can't exactly put my finger on exactly what it is, but it takes a tremendous amount of togetherness and toughness to win on the road a, as a road team. Uh, that's why older teams tend to do better on the road than younger teams. Uh, but but it, it has to do less, in my opinion, with the crowd and more with the way the, the home team plays. Uh, you know, if the, if, the away, if, if the visitor is a little bit less aggressive because they're on the road, you have to factor in too that the spread of and the variable that that the home team plays more aggressively, and so how big is that spread going to be? And that's that's often the difference in the game. What do you think Kentucky's chances are? You said that you think that they'll make it, but what do you think they 
Is there something, is there an ingredient that they have to do in order to make it to the tournament? I think it's kind of the, I think Kentucky's tournament chances rest upon, less upon what plays they run and, and are they playing man or zone, are they uh, pressing or are they playing more containment. I think it has to do more with are they getting loose balls, are they taking charges, uh, do they do the little details, do they talk on defense, uh, those kind of things because it's going gonna, it's gonna to come down to the, the, the simplest things in playing rather than some strategic change that they make. Uh, and, and I think that's true of a number of teams that if you do, you know, they call them the little things, but they're really big things. Um, you know, if somebody gets beat off the dribble, are you coming over to help, not just to be there, but to stop them? So you're not playing your man, you're playing the ball. And your, your objective isn't, okay, my man isn't scoring, it's the other team in scoring. You know, that, that's kind of the mission. You know, you, your responsibility is your man, mm -hmm. but your mission is to stop the other team from scoring. Th those, are the, those are the teams that, that win in these kind of circumstances. Is there a matchup that you're looking forward to seeing tomorrow? Yeah, the point guard, uh, you know, Harrow against Pressey. And, uh, you know, they, they've, got, they've got really, Missouri's got really talented wings. They're big and they're, uh, uh, they're strong and athletic. Um, but they're not, uh, Missouri's a, a really good, an excellent offensive team. They've played better defense uh, toward the end of the season. They've, they've been much better defensively. But anytime you make them play beyond 10 seconds on the clock, 15 seconds on the clock, your chances of, of scoring are better. And so I think a, a team that if you don't have an initial shot, if you don't have something on the break, if you make them guard side to side, your chances of scoring go way up. Uh, you know, some of the best coaches in the country say the best place to score is the other side of the floor. You move, you move the ball one side to another against uh, against a, a team like Missouri, you've got a much better chance to score. Enjoy your tweets. Uh, thanks. thanks. <laughs>